Hi, welcome to Pop Culture Beasts Halloween Horror Picks. I'm your host, Ryan Stockstead, director of the upcoming horror movie Eggs, starring Lynn Lowry and Dwayne Whitaker, uh, now funding on Kickstarter. Go check us out. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about uh, one of my favorite 70s horror movies, uh, a movie that uh, film critic Christopher Knoll called one of the juiciest entries into the horror genre. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet a dear friend. Nine killed you. Nine shall die. Your wife no fives. But you I will kill. But you can't, Doctor. I am already dead. Ah, the abominable Dr. Fives, one of the more enduring characters uh, that Vincent Price ever played, at least in the uh, later half of his career. Uh, the movie also stars Joseph Cotton, Peter Jeffrey, Terry Thomas, Hugh Griffith, Derek Godfrey. Uh, there's an uncredited appearance by Carolyn Monroe, and of course the beautiful Virginia North, who plays Volnavia. The movie was directed by Robert Fust, I believe I'm saying his name correctly. Um, you may recall he later went on to direct William Shatner in The Devil's Reign. The Abominable Dr. Fives is a, a great entry into the uh, mad doctor, mad scientist subgenre of horror movies. Vincent Price plays the, uh, the, the mad doctor, Fives, who is trying to get revenge for uh, the, the death of his wife. Um, essentially, she'd been in an accident and uh, died on the surgical table. He blames the uh, operating team uh, for failing to keep her alive. Nine killed you. Nine shall die and be returned your loss. Nine times nine. Nine killed you. Nine shall die. Nine eternities in doom. He's one of cinema's all-time great sympathetic villains. Uh, sure, he's mad, but his cause is just. Sort of. He proceeds to kill off the uh, surgical team one by one by reenacting the, uh, the curse of the pharaohs, the 12 uh, curses that befell the Egyptian pharaohs in the Old Testament. I see. Well, what form would the curses take, sir? Oh, such as the... Uh, curse of boils, of bats. Frogs? Of frogs, yes. And the curse of blood. I see, sir, yes, I see. In many ways, The Abominable Dr. Fives is sort of the precursor to movies like Seven, the Final Destination series, at least in terms of uh, creative, intricate death scenes, uh, and also, uh, of course, the Saw series. The movie was a hit for American International Pictures, but uh, make no mistake about it, this is a very British production. Um, it was actually shot at some gorgeous uh, Art Deco stages at Elstree Studios. If the earlier cast didn't tip you off, uh, it's just overflowing with British character actors. Is it, does it? I think it's a left-hand thread. Yes, it is. It's coming. Yeah. Oh, it? Gentlemen, can't we have a little quiet in this club? The Abominable Dr. Fives is uh, really sick and twisted. It's macabre, it's wickedly funny, and uh, it's just wildly entertaining from start to finish. A brass unicorn has been catapulted across a London street and impaled an eminent surgeon. Words fail me, gentlemen. Yes, excuse me, sir. Where are you off to now, Trout? The lavatory, sir. Allegedly, this was the, uh, the last film that Who drummer uh, Keith Moon saw before he died in 1978. Uh, reportedly, he woke up at uh, 7.30 in the morning, uh, watched The Abominable Dr. Fives, went back to sleep, and died of an overdose. The version of the movie that I watched is the uh, uh, MGM Midnight Movies double feature that also features Dr. Fives Rises Again. I uh, highly recommend you pick this up. Uh, if you'd like to get the movie on Blu-ray, uh, Screen Factory put out uh, the movie uh, as part of their Vincent Price box set that they released in 2013. 
Uh, if you have a Region B Blu-ray player, uh, you can pick up the uh, Arrow Films release. Uh, they, they just put out the, uh, the complete Dr. Fives uh, in 2014. Thanks again for watching Pop Culture Beasts Halloween Horror Picks. I'm your host, Ryan Stockstead, director of the upcoming horror movie Eggs, starring Lynn Lowry and Dwayne Whitaker. Uh, please go check us out on Kickstarter. We are in the final days of our campaign. We could really use your support uh, to uh, help encourage you. Uh, we have a contest with this in every episode of Halloween Horror Picks. Go to the Kickstarter campaign, be the first person to make a pledge, and then leave a comment in the comment section and tell us the name of the movie referenced in the shirt that I'm wearing. Uh, this one's hard to read, uh, but uh, here's a hint. It was actually a film that I supported on Kickstarter. Be sure to go like Eggs, a horror movie on Facebook. You can also uh, follow us on Twitter. You can follow Pop Culture Beast on Twitter. And be sure to subscribe to the Pop Culture Beast YouTube channel if you haven't done that already. Uh, thanks again for watching. Watch horror movies. I'll see you next episode.